Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Hi, kids. I'm Q the Costa Rican. I was about to say coach. Uh, we're back. Uh, we're back with some Pokemon Scarlet and Violet ranked Battle Stadium singles in the 3v3 Regulation C. Uh, I think it's season six, technically, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're using the same team we used in yesterday's video, so if you missed that one, go check it out. I do believe that was the one where Specs Rotom kind of popped off, which is made me really happy because I was really looking forward to uh, utilizing Specs Rotom. Um, so hopefully you can do it again today, but also hopefully something else could shine. Uh, once again, we'll go over it a little bit. Poke paste in the description down below. We do have, uh, Lucario, which is, uh, pretty clutch. It was in the first uh, couple matches, uh, with Focus Sash being able to end game things when they didn't get up hazards, uh, which is pretty nice. Choice Band Garchomp so far hasn't really done much for me. I more so felt like I was, I've been like neutralized almost by being choice locked into, uh, in certain matchups. Because if they have a lot of fairy types, you don't really want to lock an Outrage. If they have Dragonite, you don't really want to lock in an Earthquake. So it's like, it's kind of tough low key. But I don't know, maybe there'll be a matchup. Like I said, if it's if it, if it it's a matchup against like a lot of defensive mons, it looks pretty solid. Like Terra Blast Fire can hit Corviknight and Wo Chien type of thing, you know what I mean? Um, and then like Outrage against Dondozo could be pretty clutch. Uh, Chien Pao, Assault Vest, Terra Electric actually proved to be really dope in the first video. Uh, Terra Blast Electric against Corviknight was very, very clutch. Um... I haven't really ran into this. I don't think I've ran into the problem of it not being outpaced or not outpacing something yet. But I'm sure we will because my man does not have a whole lot of speed investment. Choice Specs Rotom is Choice Specs Rotom. was really solid. Uh, I really liked it. I hope to use it again some more. It's actually, it's actually, I've actually found out it's actually a pretty good like lead disruptor because uh, it kind of does a big damage with Specs and all that jazz. Uh, Iron Moth is Iron Moth. Same old, same old. It's pretty clutch. Uh, Terra Grass Energy Ball is very good. Acid Spray actually proved to be a little bit um, helpful with uh, weakening a Dragonite Spideff by minus two while breaking its multi scale so that Specs Rotom could finish it off. And then um, I don't think we've ran into the scenario where we haven't finished anything, we, where we haven't finished something off that we normally would knock it out because of our low special attack investment, but I'm sure we will, guys. Only time will tell. And the last but not least, we haven't used Mimikyu yet. Uh, honestly, Mimikyu's a mod that I don't, I don't know, I don't really have, com I don't, I'm not really comfortable with using it, just because, like, you have to Swords Dance to do damage, it's only Ghost Move is Shadow Sneak, which isn't that powerful, you have to land Play Roughs, and we're already missing Hydro Pumps, so you know what I mean, it, it, it's, it's, a, it, it's, it's a bit of a conundrum mod, but we'll, we'll think about it, but, you know, if it has a good matchup, we'll bring it, you know what I'm saying, Curse is good against Stall, so I, if we go against a Stall team, I will bring Curse, uh, Mimikins, but yeah, that is the team we are gonna be using it once again uh, On the rank 3v3 ladder first time I think in a long time where I'm using the team back-to-back -back in 3v3s uh, So hopefully it doesn't feel like too oversaturated uh, the team ID is in the right hand corner TSX QND if you want to use it Let me know in the comment section down below if you ended up using the team as well as any Pokemon You guys want to see in either rank DV3s or 6v6s. I'm, I'm very open to using and uh, most recommendations unless it's something like like, uh, you use Snom. Like, no, I'm not using Snom. Um, but also, uh, in the next coming days, we should be getting Chestnut in Terra Raids. In case you guys didn't know, Chestnut is coming to Terra Raids. Terra Rock Chestnut. So, stay tuned for that. We will be having a video of a Wi-Fi battle featuring Chestnut for sure. At least, if not the day after it comes out, the next day. You know what I'm saying? Like, very, very shortly after the raids happen, I like to get a nice Wi-Fi battle featuring that Pokemon. But, uh, with that being said... Uh, I hope you all enjoy the battles. All right, and here we are with the first battle. We do see an interesting team. Belly Bolt is uh, always always uh, pr a pretty funny pick because it looks like it's not going to do anything, but it could fuck around and pop off. Um, Vo Ro eh? Rotom looks like a pretty solid lead outside of that. I mean, the Belly Bolt is there, but we have Garchomp, so I think I am actually going to bring that. Terra Fire could be pretty clutch, even though the Chi Yu would definitely Dark Pulse us, but we are Jolly Max Speed, so we should outpace it. So yeah, outside of outside of the bundle, we have an insanely good speed tier here. Um, and then, uh, ironically enough, Chien Pao actually looks pretty solid. Do I bring Rotom? Rotom looks good. It uh, can threaten the packs. And there's no ground types. Yeah, you know what? I'll do. It. <gasps> I'll bring these three. These three look pretty solid. Haven't really brought Mimikyu in any of these battles yet. This is uh, the second session. We are doing, if you guys missed the first session with this team, uh, it was one up on the channel yesterday. Go check it out. I don't remember what happened in it because I, my memory is bad. But what I do know is 
Terra Electric Chan Pao actually clutched up in one of the games. That's that what I remember. Let's see what happens. They do lead packs. This is the easiest Volt Switch of my career. Easiest Volt Switch into Garchomp of my career. Uh, I guess they could be Terra Ground Pex, which could be kind of funny. But I don't think that's what they would be, to be honest. They do just stay in and take a Specs Volt Switch to the Dome. Kind of crazy behavior. They might click Toxic here, which I guess is okay. I'm just going to go into Garchomp and click Outrage, actually. Kind of wild that they would do that, to be honest. They did, they click T-Spikes when I have a whole potential Iron Moth in the back. Kind of insane behavior. Um, I want to click Outrage in case, in case they have Dragonite in the back. I don't want to give it a free turn. So I will click Outrage. They do withdraw. So this is a free Outrage on... Li there's, I guess Scizor would be... No, that's Bundle. That's Buster Bundle, bro. Which kind of sucks because I don't... Wait, do we Yoko this? I think we Yoko this. We Yoko... Per wow. Wow. Choice Banner Dragonite, guys. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? The Pex can come back in if it wants to. Sometimes they're Terra Fairy. Uh, but it is, in fact... Is it Terra Fairy? Like, what are you doing? I mean, I can't click nothing. It's, it's, it's in God's hands now. <laughs> or whatever you believe in. You know what I'm saying? I don't... I don't Spoilers, I don't believe in uh, the Christian God anyways. Not to get too, like, religious or anything, but... Is it Terra Fairy? Is it really? Wow. They just put that in. There's no way this, they queued this up with this being Terra Fairy. They literally just put that in. Alright, I mean... We still got Rotom, which is whatever. Uh, I don't know what they... Would they click Terra Blast here? Like, what do they click? They click Toxic. Oh my god, this is the game we're playing. Alright. Uh, I will go into Rotom, and honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna trick it. It's funny that they would have Toxic and Toxic Spikes. It's like, what are we... What are we doing? I honestly... You know what I'm doing? I'm going hard Rotom. I'm Terra Stealing. And then I'm tricking. The only... Bad thing for that is if the Chiyu is in the back. Which it might be. It might be. But yeah, I'm going hard Rotom. I'm going to Terra Steel so that I can't get toxic. And then I'm going to trick it. Oh, thank God they missed. Because they're no longer a poison type, they have a chance to miss, which is actually hilarious. So yeah, I'm going to Terra. I could just Terra Steel and knock it out, actually. That might be the better option. Yeah, I'll just do that. That, this will definitely knock it out. Volt Switch is a little weaker than this. And we did a fuck ton with Volt Switch. So yeah, this should knock it out. Let's go. Glad we missed. Glad they missed that Toxic. Which is hilarious. Because they only had the chance to miss that because they Terra'd. But they needed to Terra. Otherwise, Garchomp looks like it just won. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty funny. Get him out of here, coach. Specs rode him once again. Putting in work. Banded Chomp, though, too. is kind of crazy. But alright. Uh, now, whatever's next... We might just we might just sack this to it. Unless it's Scizor, I'll switch out. Because I don't want to give it more than one free swords dance. That looks like Chiyu, though. It is. Okay. Uh, Nasty Plot wouldn't be an issue because Chomp outpaces. So I am actually just going to Terra Steel again. I am Specs, of course. I can't switch out my moves. And uh, see where the day takes us. Like I said, if they're nasty, the only issue would be if they're like sub nasty, but I don't think that's a thing. Uh, Dark Pulse, perfect. Don't flinch me, please. Never mind. I would love to have broken Sash, but never mind. Uh, please tell me, please tell me that Chien Pao spread outpaces phase 100. Surely. Surely. Oh my God, hold on. It does. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we we do that. We break its potential. If it's specs, then we can tank a hit. If it's sash, uh, then we break its sash. And they already tear it, so they can't they can't do anything about this. We just sacred sword. Perfect. They are scarf. 
Okay, they could flinch hacks us for sure. But not today, Satan. Not today, Satan. Oh, look at that. Mentioning God and Satan. All in one fucking battle. You'll love to see it. Shout out Bandit Chomp, dude. Forced the Toxapex to Terra, which allowed everything else to offensively prosper. You'll love to see it. Yo, that's kind of funny. We're Q and we're battling V. I think this... this Yeah, I think this says... My my, my character name says Q. That's pretty funny. Uh, Q versus V. Um, Things they could lead off with are for sure Meow Meow or the Palafin. Both of which... Uh, Rotom can bop the Palafin, but I get bopped by the Meow. Um, I guess I could lead off with this and kind of potentially just auto win. There is a Tauros in the back that, you know, resists my hits. Mm. I could also lead off with Chien Pao and do some big damage. And Garchomp's also not a bad, a bad option. But also, neither, neither is lead uh, lead this. So yeah, let's lead this. Um, I do think that I want my water resist. Uh, and then the Hydreigon looks to be like the biggest issue, to be honest. Um, Tauros might Tauros is definitely showing up because of Chen Pao. Does does fighting resist poison? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I'll bring this instead. I'll just bring this. Because it could be T-Spikes Meow Scarada. I'm going to look it up. I feel like Iron Moth, Tauros, Tauros Fire. I feel like fighting resists poison. No, it doesn't. Or at least it doesn't look like it does. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm silly. Poison resists fighting. I know that. But there's always those kind of interactions that I'm not sure about most of the time. Like, I think Bug and fighting resist each other. But I'm also not sure about that. So they do lead Palafin, so pretty good for me, I think. Uh, we get to just fire off a close combat, which is really strong here. They probably flip turn, which is whatever. We just get the close combat. If they close combat themselves, they're dead, which is really good. So yeah, I'll take all that. Uh, they do switch out as they should. And then we get the close combat. Hydreigon, maybe? Maybe a little more Hydreigon? Hatrin. Okay, that's weird, in my opinion. But alright, I don't respect it. Um, I guess I'll bullet punch. It's the only move I got. I feel like this doesn't do that much. Right? It's gonna do 60. It's gonna do 120. This did 60. No, this did. It's gonna do like damn near. We'll just click it. Like that's all I can click. Oh, okay, they switch. Back in a Palafin? I'll take that. I mean, I'm gonna close combat you again, bro. Like, they might flip turn, but if they close combat me, that'd be pretty sick. Because I feel like I knocked them out with close combat in the E-Speed. Knowing two of their three is really good, too, because Iron Moth looks really good if I get rid of this. Iron Moth looks insanely good if I get rid of this. And then if it's, like, Tauros in the back, oh, they Jet Punch. Okay. I mean, we're going to be doing some big damage. Maybe this in E-Speed still knocks it out. Ooh, not even close. I think I can switch safely. Keeping Bullet Punch potent plus potential E-Speed in the back as a win con is not too shabby. So I'm going to save it. As they jet punch, as predicated. Did quite a bit. They might be banded. Uh, we get a free volt switch because there's no ground types. The only switch in would be Magnazone. And if that's their three, then I just tear with Iron Moth and win. Immediately. Immediately. So they do withdraw. So perfect. We're getting momentum. Honestly, if they go Magnazone, I go back out into Lucario and get some more mileage out of my guy. Yep, nice, nice. Okay, perfect. That was actually really good. Uh, they, if they Terra Flying, then that means that um, Palafin won't be as big of an issue because it won't be like super offensive. Uh, there is a scenario where there's Scarf Magnazone, I guess, and we find that out together right now. Uh, but yeah, we either force a Terra or force a KO here. So let's see. They could even go back out in a Hatterene, I guess. 
Uh, but then I'll just bullet punch that. I guess since we're sitting here, I could kind of calc that. Hatterene. Uh, there it is. That's defensive. Which, eh, I guess Blue Bullet Punch really wouldn't be doing that too, that much. They really should switch out in a Hatterene, to be honest. But I'll just take Chip on that, too. Because then I just get to go into, um... No, they... Oh, they do Terra. Okay, perfect. So, Palafin's not as strong as it should be. Or as it could be. This might be Terra Flying, which I'm fine with. Yeah, but it is. Okay, I mean, we're going to do a little bit of damage. And now they're weak to Rotom. So, I just get to go back out and erode them after this, actually. Yeah, this is not too bad. Not too bad of a trade. They do Volt Switch. Okay. Um, So, we get to find out what they... If they go into Hatterene, I get to go Iron Moth and just click Sludge Wave. If they go into the other guy, I just get to go Rotom. Because I feel like I should live a close combat. And then we'll see. They do go Hatterene. So yeah, I I hope Sludge Wave kills. Uh, Iron Moth. Yeah, Sludge Wave should. It does 91 minimum. I mean, there's a chance they're Assault Vest. But uh, we're just going to 91 minimum them. I would assume the, the Magnezone is the Assault Vest guy. Uh, so yeah, we just Sludge Wave. Okay, perfect. Please knock it out, Iron Moth. I love you. You're so good to me. Thank you. All right, so yeah, then now we Terra Grass in front of the um, Palafin and hopefully clutch up. I think, I, I think I've used Iron Moth quite a bit. It, it, I, I thought I used Iron Hands more. Like when see, when they when the when the ruin, when the paradox Pokemon first got allowed, but I've definitely used Iron Moth like probably just as much, if not even slightly more. Um, so yeah, we Terra Grass and we should live every hit. Uh, we're also faster, so they have to jet punch here. Um, and we can just sledge wave. There's no reason to click anything else. And they can't tear anymore, so yeah. It looks like Iron Moth is actually going to clutch up. Knock on wood, of course. There is still the Magnezone, but it's weak to Rotom in the back. And we should be faster. And we'll get Chip on it with this as well. So yeah, this is all looking pretty good. They do Jet Punch. Yum, yum, yum. You'll love to see it. So yeah, that was why it was really good to force the Terra on that Lucario turn. Because we either got a kill... They went Hatterene. Like, I was actually surprised they didn't go Hatterene. I feel like that was their play, in my opinion. Because then it wouldn't have they wouldn't have had to have Terra'd. Um, it would just slunch away. Get him out of here, coach. Let's go. All right. Doing a lot better in this session than the first session. That's for sure. Well, by a lot better, I mean we won our first two games versus getting hacks to Oblivion in our first game in the first session that, that you guys didn't even see. But I, I detailed it. All right, and here we are with the third and potentially final battle. Uh, we see a Lilligant, which looks to be a bit silly. Uh, there's also a Glimmy Glim, a Dragonite. I really do like Rotom here as a lead once again. I think Choice Specs Rotom just looks really solid. I can probably, I assume I can tank a Fluttermane hit. I, if they leave Fluttermane, I might even just Terra immediately and then Volt Switch into my, my Iron Moth. Speaking of which, definitely got to bring that because of the Glim. Um, could also be... Uh, Clutch against a speed boosting Don fan, and then what is Lilligan's speed? Is it like 90? I feel like it's like not that high. It is 90. Wow, look at me. I'm just a genius. Uh, is my Mimikyu faster? I think my Mimikyu's adamant. So, yeah, probably not faster with Mimikins. I might need to bring Chien Pao. Chien Pao looks like it could potentially clutch up, uh, but also Garchomp could as well. If it's not Chien Pao. Actually, no, no, no. We're bringing Lacario. Lacario. If they get up rocks, which I think they will turn one with Glim. Uh, this is a bit of a weird... Uh, like, Lucario probably could have been Garchomp or... Chien or no, I guess Garchomp would have been the other option. But they might just lead Lilligant. Because look at that guy. That guy is raring and ready to go. I will... Mm, will I Terra Grass if they go Lilligant? Flora Cat. Okay, that's this. Okay. 
This is this guy's French, I think. Um, we're gonna Volt Switch into Lucario, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. We'll Volt Switch into Lucario because oh, they Sludge Bomb raw. Well, this is perfect. They poison me. Of course they do. This is kind of perfect because we should be in range of Bullet Punch, and none of our Pokemon would care about T spikes. Literally nobody on our team cares. So yeah, that's really good. Uh, I am gonna go Lucario and Bullet Punch them. I assume you're in range of Adamant Bullet Punch. Glim. The only way they're not is if they Terra into something here. But yeah, Bullet Punch should be able to finish it off. Perfect. Um, and then, depending on what they go, if they go Dragonite, I don't know what to do. If they go Dragonite, I don't know what to do. Um, if they go Lilligant, I just close combat. Same thing with Chen Pao. Same thing with Fort Evire, the former Titan. Okay, this. Um, okay. They might Earthquake or they might... Um, they might earthquake or they might close combat me. I'm hoping they, I'm hoping they do one of the ones that uh, lowers their defenses, but I am not too keen on them. Hmm, this is a tough one. I low key want to like force them to Terra, but I don't have that power. Bullet punch could be pretty clutch against potential Chien Pao or what's it called. But I'm either so I guess I'm either sacking Rotom here. I just would hate for them to bulk up here. I'll, I'll go into Rotom. I'll sack Rotom. Because they're, they're faster than everything before I get my booster in. But, um... Lucario could have definitely done something. Fuck, I knew it, man. I knew it. I just knew it. I knew they were bulking up. I should have just hit them. Whatever. Uh, maybe this will force a Terra. Like, them hoping I'm... Wait, no, that wouldn't matter. Yeah, no, they're just going to kill me here. They do Terra. Okay, perfect. So, potentially, Iron Moth can do something against this. Terra Water. Ooh, crazy. Oh, wait, so we have grab. This is actually really good. Let them bulk up. As long as they don't Rapid Spin, we should be fine. Wow, they're bulking up again. Crazy behavior, dude. Crazy. Should have given them a Choice Specs. And I miss, 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 and Hydro Pump just misses. Why does it miss so consistently? We'll never know. Somebody hit up Miyamoto. Ask him for the coding. Oh, Ice Spinner. That was a very disrespectful for no reason, Ice Spinner. That's fine, because guess what we do, guys? We get to go Iron Moth. Oh, and they just showed us that Ice Spinner. That's why they did that. Um, Wait, we're faster. It doesn't matter. What's this Pokemon called? Don Fan Great Tusk. Offensive, so they're gonna have max HP because they need no attack in order to get out in order to outpace with Jolly. But guess what? Terra Grass Energy Ball still knocks them the fuck out. Let's go for it, kids. This is what you get for being Terra Water, you loser. Alright, let's go for it. Uh, what could be in the back that would be a problem for this? I guess kind of Dragonite, but not really. Dragonite would be a huge issue. Uh, but yeah, this should always guarantee knock it out. Even with max HP, we just click it. Even with max HP. Now after max Spadef instead of max HP. Then it's a roll. <laughs> uh, then it's a roll. But I think they'd be max HP instead. Hopefully. Otherwise, we just lose. Get him. Fuck. It was a roll, fellas. It was a roll all along. Damn it, dude. Ah, oh, A crit. The crit mattered. 100% that crit mattered. 100% that crit mattered. Unless they're plus two. I think they're only plus one. I mean, I think they're plus two, so maybe it didn't matter. Um, here's hoping that it's Fluttermane in the back. Or maybe Chen Pao. Hold on, I gotta check. Did the crit matter? 
the crit didn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Um, e speed. Did the crit matter? Eh, I don't know. It didn't. If there, it, it didn't. It actually didn't. As much as I wanted it to. So they were max spadef instead of max HP. Crazy. They could have been half and half, which would have gave them an even stronger chance of living. Like if they hit like 100 spadef. Oh my god, wait a minute, we might win. Wait. 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 Floet Mecca. Oh my god, we win. They don't know. They don't know we're Sash. We win. Let's go. All right. Shadow Lucario for being clutch. Iron Moth. See, that's what I'm saying. Iron Moth needs that. Sp I feel like it. That's that's definitely one of the biggest things that would change on this team. Like, is that I would just give Iron Moth max speed so that you can get a little more special attack. Like, you're missing out on seven points of the special attack stat. Which, in that scenario, would have hella helped. We would have a full HP Iron Moth. At plus one speed against Flutterman. Like, sure, we still won because we, you know, preserved Lucario. But just still, like, it would have just been so much easier. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. If you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. <laughs> using the team, using uh, the same team in two videos felt a little weird. But hey, we got there. We got there and we prevailed. Uh, use Lucario. Specs Roden was kind of nice. I definitely would run a little, few more max max sets, though. Like, some, like, I guess the defense on Iron Moth did come in clutch. In one of the battles in the first video, I think, where we live two e speeds from Dragonite, but I don't know, man. It, it's it's it, it's give or take. It is what I, I I don't know. Maybe at really really high ladder play, it's more like beneficial to have those complicated EV spreads. But I think just like casually going through ranked and trying to get to Master Vault tier, you definitely want to just have like you know your max max timid max max stuff. But I digress. You know, do what you want. You know, I'm not I'm not a doctor. Uh, that being said, I hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.